Welcome, Guardians, to another episode of Destiny 2. This is Odin's son, and we're going fishing. Now, if you're anything like me, you start watching YouTube looking for some content that may help you in a video game, but you see something that kind of like piques your fancy, and next thing you know, you're watching a bunch of clickbaity videos, and recently I caught a bunch of them from some top-name YouTubers that are just wrong. You're dead ass wrong like i've actually tried their methods and it just doesn't work out so i'm going to show you the real way to catch exotic fish in destiny 2 season of the deep let's get right into it so once you've acquired bait from season of the deep activities you want to go into your inventory head over to the tackle box and figure out where the hot spots are now this week it's in the throne world in the miasma area now, once you get to your fishing hotspot, you want to examine the water and look for a path of rippling water. This is going to be the fish swimming around in a little circle. Not really a circle, but kind of like a circle, you know, because they keep going in this repetitive motion and you want to just drop your line in the direct path of this rippling water. Now, don't let your instincts or the clickbait videos betray your common sense because everything that you're thinking is going to tell you that you want to be fishing where the fish are hopping and leaping up out of the water because that's Bungie's little trick. Now, they give you this fishing meter and once your fishing meter gets about halfway full, fish start just j leaping out of the water. Now, I know people that have fished for hours in these little spots where the fish are just hopping up out of the water and having caught shit. Now casting the line is in an exact science so it may take you a couple of tries to get in direct path of the ripples but once you find yourself a hot spot and you start seeing yourself catching legendary fish you know you're on the right track. But I highly suggest getting into your menu and switching your weapons and your armor around a little bit as you're doing this because Bungie will list you as AFK if you just continually hold down square to cast that line. It has happened to me. So I suggest getting into that menu because when fishing first came available, I was on Nessus going hard for about a half hour and this shit happened. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. I lost all them fish and I was mad as hell. Now in the beginning of the video, I talked about clickbait and I've seen a shit ton of it. So everybody is under the impression that if you get your fishing focus meter up to full, that you're more likely to catch exotic fish and that's just not true. As you can see, my fishing focus meter is nothing. Actually, when I got to this location, I didn't even have anything on the focus meter and it started going up just from me fishing in this location. But as you can see here with nothing of a fishing focus meter bar, I happen to do this. Now this little fishing excursion took me just under five minutes to complete. And if you notice from the beginning of the video in my tackle box, there was already three fish in the bucket. Okay. So this is literally all you have to do to catch exotic fish is follow this method to the letter and you will have yourself a bucket full of exotic fish in no time. Now, the second I collected all my fish, I closed my game out, switched over to my Titan, loaded into a new lobby where there was nobody here, cast my line directly in the path of the fish's ripple, and within three minutes or so, I ended up catching a rare, followed by an exotic fish. If you're not using this method, you don't want exotic fish, plain and simple. Keep following them, you big YouTubers, see where that gets you. If you want to see more content like this, like, subscribe, hit that fucking bell notification, and I will see you next time.